Hi, this is Bruce Gow from CarolCAD. In this next exercise, we're going to look at keynotes. Keynotes are text annotations that relate to elements using an external file. You can't change a keynote from within Revit. You must edit the text file. Typically, a keynote is an alphanumeric note relating to a keynote legend. The legend provides more detail about the element. It may also refer to a specification. You may choose to show a text note, which is a particular keynote consisting of text only. There's three options to add keynotes in Revit. Element, Material and User. Element is typically used to note an entire assembly, such as a wall or a floor. Material is specific to the material used in the element, for instance concrete or plasterboard, and user is a customised keynote, which is unique to the particular object selected. A powerful way of using keynotes is to pre-link a keynote in your template file. To do this, for an element keynote, you open the type properties of the element and select the keynote field. For a material keynote, you go to Settings, Materials, Identity tab. OK, let's have a look at how keynotes work in practice. OK, you can see in this file we've got three walls, a double brick, a stud and a brick veneer and I've also placed a couple of windows into both of these walls. Now the first thing we're going to do is to look at our keynote file. So if we go to settings keynoting, it's pointing to the file AUS NatSpec, which is actually located in our library, and the numbering method is by keynote. OK, so I've opened this particular file now. It's not particularly complicated. It does call up the NetSpec um, categories, but it isn't really detailed as far as that goes. So to place a keynote in Revit, we go firstly to Drafting, and then we pick Keynote. So as I mentioned earlier, you can then pick Element, Material or User. We're going to pick element to start with. As you can see in this case there is no keynote assigned. As soon as I place the keynote, which is currently blank, it opens the keynote file, which then allows me to choose a particular keynote. So the one I want in this case is uh, 0335 brick construction. So now I've placed a keynote. Keynotes, when you use them out of the box, also don't have leader arrowheads assigned to them, so we'll just assign an arrowhead to this as well. So that's fine for that particular wall. If I want to place a keynote for another wall, it doesn't have the keynote set. That wall does. Let's place a keynote for, for the stud wall. Now the stud wall is a 0522. As I mentioned earlier, we could actually have pre-applied or pre-linked uh, these keynotes in. So we'll have a look at that in a little while. So 0522. And the same thing could apply to the window. So just apply the window note out here. And the window is 0451. Now, as I mentioned before, once you've applied a keynote to an element, it becomes available for other elements of the same type. You can see there's the wall, there's the window, there's that wall. This wall here has no keynote. Okay, I mentioned earlier that you could use a text note 
instead of the keynote. So I'm just going to select those areas or that area and filter back to the keynote tags. And then I'm going to change the tags. I can change the tags to a straight number without a box, or I can change them to keynote text. So obviously that's the keynote text there. And again, I'll need to go in and change the arrow head if I was to use that, that setting. Okay, so that's uh, text. So text is obviously very straightforward and text has the advantage of not requiring a legend and also of keeping the text unified. So let's just change that back to keynote number boxed. Now if we go into the properties of the brick wall, and rather than going straight to the material, I'm going to the Edit Assembly dialog. And if I go to Identity, I can see that this particular brick has got a keynote applied to it, 09980. Now 09980 doesn't apply to this particular file, so you've got to watch things like that. The file that comes out of the box is not the NatSpec file anyway. So I can always just delete that, go OK there. And I think we may find the same thing if we go into the properties for the stud work as well. So the stud work is just a metal stud layer, but it also has an identity 9970. So we'll also delete that. Okay, the last thing we're going to look at is different ways of dealing with the keynote numbers. You can see here the keynote numbers are individual. I've actually provided a second sheet and I've used the same keynote schedule on that sheet as well. That sheet only has the two numbers picking up. The keynote schedule has all of them. If we go to settings and keynoting, we can change the numbering method from by keynote to by sheet. You can see that's changed the numbers 1 to 6, and these are numbers 1 and 2. If we go back to the other sheet, you'll see that it's changed its numbering as well. Thank you for your time and patience. I hope that you find that keynotes are worthy of further investigation, and I hope that this exercise has given you some insight into what's possible. I'll see you next time.